Welcome to my office. This is where most of my ideas come from, is driving. Uh, so I just left poetry class, and I told Stacy about my idea about the turnstiles and sort of how I don't know what it's about and all of that. And Jake happens to be in this class, and Jake is in a wheelchair, and we just became Facebook friends. So after class, I had, you know, talked to him and I was talking to him, talking to him about the turnstile idea and about how I don't really know what it's about, but this is kind of what I see it looking like. I want to do the big one. And he told me, he said, I actually had an incident with one of those turnstiles either like this week or this month. He's like, because I can't get through them. And that was, I just realized I never thought about that, right? you think, oh, I'm conscious or I'm aware or I know, and you don't know. Unless you're in that position or unless you talk about specific things, like, you, you don't know. So I was struck by that, and I was thinking about the fact that there is a person in a wheelchair in our class, Luda. And last week, she wasn't able to see a performance because it required that you stand up and look through the window of a door. And so she wasn't able to participate, and that bothered me. And I, you know, I don't know whether it bothered her or not, um, might be something she's at peace with, but I was just realizing, you know, even in these performance spaces where we try to be cognizant or try to be open or try to think about the other or the marginalized individuals, that there's still this exclusion that happens. And so I thought maybe it might be interesting to explore the idea of creating an environment that was ideal for someone in a wheelchair, but that the rest of us would have to be somehow physically changed or altered in order to engage with it. So I thought about maybe building a maze in the classroom, maybe out of PVC, just the height of about where Luda is, you know, right? So it'd be a much shorter, be almost half our height to have to, and to have to go through this sort of labyrinth of sorts to get to wherever we might be going to experience this performance. But I, I, you know, I don't want to entirely abandon the idea of the turnstile because I feel like maybe that's like the first part is that she can't access this area because of the turnstile, but that we might not be able to access something else. So, or a perspective. And so I guess it sort of speaks to standpoint theory and things. But that's what's bouncing around in my brain. I need to talk to Luda and see if she would be interested in working with me. Because obviously, like, me sitting here and going, oh, this would be great. <laughs> she might be like, oh, that's not great. Right? Or maybe even um, if she has other plans for the performance, maybe talking with Jake and seeing if he would be willing. Uh, because, you know, he's in the performance ensemble and might be willing to work with me. So that's what's cooking on my brain this morning. And now I'm on my way to work. Okay. Have a great day. Bye.